people used to think that the sun was at the center of the galaxy, something important about our position. It turns out to be wrong. We live in the outskirts. The globular clusters are centered around the marvelous middle of the Milky Way galaxy. And then it turned out that this isn't the only galaxy. We live in this one, but there are many others. There are in fact a hundred billion other galaxies, each of which contains something like a hundred billion stars. Think of how many stars and planets and kinds of life there may be in this vast and awesome universe. But I think there is one respect in which being an astronomer does have an effect on how we see human beings. And that's that it allows us to see ourselves as part of an ongoing process. Most educated people are aware that we are the outcome of four billion years of evolution. Um, but they tend to feel that we are the culmination, that's it. Whereas as an astronomer I know that the uh, sun is less than halfway through its life. And so uh, in that perspective we may be not even the halfway stage in evolution. And so post-human evolution, either organic or maybe in silicon-based computers, could go far beyond that. And so, uh, and this may already have happened in other parts of the, the cosmos, there may be uh, entities far beyond human beings in ways we can't possibly conceive. And so altogether, I can't believe the special stories that have been made up about our relationship to the universe at large because they seem to be too local, too provincial. The earth, he came to the earth. One of the aspects of God came to the earth, mind you. And look at what's out there. How can he, it isn't in proportion. I want to live my life taking the risk all the time that I don't know anything like enough yet, that I haven't understood enough, that I can't know enough, that I'm always hungrily operating on the, on the margins of, of a potentially great harvest of future knowledge and wisdom. I wouldn't have it any other way. 4% of the universe consists of atoms like those of which we are made. Only about one quarter of those 4%, only about half a percent or one percent, is stuff you can actually see. The stars and the nebulae and things like that. So, so we are a minor constituent of the universe. We're in a sense the debris of the universe, the afterthought of creation. But 96% of the universe on large scales, not in this room, not in California, on the largest scales, 96% of the universe is unknown in terms of its composition and physical attributes. So those young ones among you, there's a lot still to explore. I hope you go into this field and contribute to our knowledge. sought to understand the universe and find answers to these questions. I have been very lucky that my disability has not been a serious handicap. Indeed, it has probably given me more time than most people to pursue the quest for knowledge. The ultimate goal is a complete theory of the universe, and we are making good progress.